Have you ever wondered how old the moon really is? The answer just might surprise you. In a fascinating journey that began with the Apollo missions between 1969 and 1972, astronauts collected rocks, pebbles, sand, and dust from the moon's surface. These samples, particularly lunar dust from Apollo 17's final crewed mission, were crucial to a recent breakthrough. Hidden within the dust were zircon crystals, a key indicator of the moon's age, believed to have formed billions of years ago. Scientists theorized that the moon came into existence from the debris left behind when a Mars-sized body struck the Earth. The energy of this colossal collision melted the rock that eventually formed the moon's surface. Fast forward to today, and the age of the moon has been a subject of intense study. According to Professor Philip Heck from the University of Chicago, these zircon crystals are the oldest known solids that formed after this massive impact, suggesting that the moon is at least 4.46 billion years old. Professor Heck explains the process. Zircon crystals couldn't form and survive when the surface was molten, so any crystals on the moon's surface must have formed after this lunar magma ocean cooled. Otherwise, they would have been melted and their chemical signatures erased. However, earlier studies had suggested that the moon was younger. What sets this study apart is the use of atom probe tomography, a technique that examines a structure at the atomic level. Dr. Jenica Greer, the study's lead author, explains that the crystal sample was sharpened into a tip using a focused ion beam microscope, and atoms were then evaporated from the tip using UV lasers. The speed at which these atoms traveled through a mass spectrometer helped determine their composition. Interestingly, the radioactive decay of many of the atoms found inside the crystals caused them to lose some protons and neutrons. Scientists have determined how long this process takes, discovering a new way to determine a sample's age by examining the ratio of different lead and uranium atoms, also known as isotopes, present in the sample. Professor Heck expressed his awe at this discovery, stating, It's amazing to be able to have proof that the rock you're holding is the oldest bit of the moon we've found so far. He further added that understanding the moon's age helps anchor many questions about Earth. It is easier to comprehend what has happened to something throughout its history when you know how old it is. In conclusion, this pivotal study revealed that the moon is 40 million years older than previously thought, making it at least 4.46 billion years old. This discovery not only aids our understanding of the moon's history, but also provides a framework for comprehending the history of our own planet. The research results have been presented in Geochemical Perspectives Letters. So, the next time you look up at the moon, remember, it's been there, silently witnessing the history of our Earth for over 4 billion years. Click on like and subscribe to recommend our channel. But if you're keen to know when we release more videos, don't forget to click on that bell too.